Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you today with a little bit of furt talk. So I wanted to go over some things that happened yesterday that I caught and I needed to correct today. It actually took me a little while to catch it, but I did three lawns before I realized I was overusing the fertilizer. This is why I'm telling you guys, it's so important to know your square footage of each and every property. So yesterday I was doing a 14,000 square foot property. So I should have used 56 pounds of this product. Now according to this rate, right here, I should have been on between N and O to put a medium amount of active ingredient on, which this is a high active ingredient. It's a 0.15, that's a pretty high active ingredient. So anywhere between 0.25 and 0.38, is actually really really good so right here's the active ingredient see it says pounds break now down here AccuPro 2000 which is my spreader if I listen to them I should be on O or N so I was spreading on N and I used about 20 pounds of fertilizer too much and this is why I tell you about calibrating your spreaders this is why I talk to you about knowing your numbers especially your square footages so I ended up putting on I would say about 80 pounds of product when I should have put on 56. I was between 75 and 80. I couldn't, I didn't measure it obviously, but I know, I pretty much know where I should be. And that's about, that's too much. It's too much fertilizer. And, and when I'm looking at the consistency of the bead in this product, this is a smaller bead. So what was happening is I was, smaller beads go through the spreader a lot quicker than the bigger beads. So I think, What's happening is I have to adjust it. So today I'm going to put it on M and see if that adjusts the. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't this isn't life or death here, but this is money going down the drain. You know what I mean? That is money definitely going down the drain. And these are generic, le, you know, labels. They put this. The consistency of the bead it could be different from bag to bag. So this is just a generic label that they just shove on every single bag. So this is the formula I'm using, 1200 with dimension 0.15 and <clears throat> I am putting these on the lawns that I cut because I do not want surge growth. Surge growth is the worst thing that you can have for a lawn and everyone wants to blame the grass cutter when things aren't going right but you want to put a pound of nitrogen on per thousand square feet in the spring and cut it once a week and then wonder why you can't keep it under control. It's just not going to work. Well, you should cut your grass every, you know, four days. That's fine, but a, a professional grass cutter doesn't have time in a schedule to cut everyone four days. And if he did, then what's he going to do when it dries out in the summer? He's going to have some real big open spots. So what I choose to combat that is I get enough of the active ingredient on. Now I have two rates. I have an 1806 and I have a 1200. 1806 is on any one I don't mow. Um, I still put it on between the medium and the low rate for active ingredient, which is right here, medium and low, medium and low for the active ingredient. So it's still not a ton of nitrogen, but a homeowner generally can mow their grass a couple times a week, and I encourage them to. See, listen, you're gonna wanna mow your grass a couple times a week. But I just wanted to give you this video, and I wanted to show you the differences. Just because this says, put it on for this, that doesn't mean anything. There's a couple things that can go on here. There's a couple things. This could be off because they want you to use more product. You'll buy more product. I don't know. Would a company do that? Hmm. I don't know. Or, but you got to calibrate it. Now, last year, my bags were right on. I was just a hair on end, and it was perfectly calibrated almost to the bead. This year, the consistency is a little running out a little bit different. So, I'm going to have to... And I checked the spreader, the holes are still the same because this is the spreader calibration key. This is the spreader calibration key and you put that in, you put it on a certain number and as long as that hole is open to that rate, then you know the calibration rate's fine for the spreader. So the spreader's fine. What's wrong is the consistency of this bag compared to last year's bag. That's the problem. So this is just a tip really know your numbers really get out there make sure you know the square footages of each and every property you do that way you're putting the right amount on not over pounding it listen the more this product comes out the less money you're going to make it's just that simple so if this bag costs twenty dollars 
and you overuse it by 25 pounds, you wasted $10. Well, John, it's only $10. Add it up on every lawn. Say you had 50 lawns, it's 500 bucks. It's 500 bucks, you could buy a new, new weed whacker, you could invest in a new spreader. It's just, think about it. Just think about even the smallest little things like this that nobody thinks about. And big companies, they don't care because they don't look at the small stuff. What they do is they look at the pallets. Oh, we're getting low on fertilizer, let's just go out, oh, call the company in, we'll order some more. They don't look at individual properties and how much money they're wasting. And this is something that each and every company, whether you're small or big listening to this video, you need to calibrate your spreaders. First of all, get your key out. This is an Anderson key. Make sure the spreader is open to what it should be. Once the mechanism is going fine, everything's fine with the mechanism, make sure the square footage of your property is fine. Start out using their formula. It says to be between N and O, that would be between medium and low. If it's pouring out too much, go back to N. If it's still pouring out too much, go back to between, you know, M and N. If it's still pouring out, go back to L. You find out where that product is. You don't want to waste product. And the one thing you don't want to do in the spring is to have a uh, surge growth. And that's the biggest problem that I'm seeing with most lawn care companies out there is their lawns are growing through the, sure they're green, but it doesn't matter because once the heat comes, those lawns are going to be stressed out, diseased up, and like, what's wrong with my lawn, Johnny? Well, your grass cutter stinks. Is that really what it is? Or maybe it's your fertilizing guy who is over-applicating you, and the mowing, you can't keep up with the mowing. Could it be that? It's more than likely the latter. The fertilizing guy is pounding you with fertilizer, and what does he care? He doesn't have to mow it. He's just coming through with his little buggies, his machines. They're they're not they're not looking at this this little bit. They're just pounding. Oh, it looks green. You're driving by. Oh, that's my lawn. Look how green it is. Looks well, it looks good to me. But in the end, when you over fertilize a lawn, come June and July, when the disease is set in because the humidity's up, and you're like, why? Why? It's a combination of too much fur. The, the mowing is just not able to keep up with it. Right now, you can mow your grass every three days. I'm mowing my front lawn every three days right now. My front lawn every three days. And I'm mulching. I still want to try to put the clippings back. I have not even put an application on my front lawn yet. Let me just go take a look at it. I want you to think about that. Every three days I'm mowing this. I just mowed it last night. I'm mowing it at three inches. Looks good. Have not even put an application. Had one application on it at the end of the year last year. Nice and green, pretty thick. Got some dog marks, but hey, you got dogs, you're gonna have that. Took a big tree down in the middle, that's why there's a little hump there. But I want you to think about that. Now, now honestly, does that need fertilizer? I'm cutting it every three days. Does that even need fertilizer? That's why I adjust the rates. It's personalized care for each and every property. If you got a property that's growing through the roof, and you want to put more on I can show you let me see here I think I got some 1806 here no all I got is 1200 left I got some merit 2100 I got some 1806 in the trailer but having said that guys just really really look at your numbers look at your numbers or your bag see what they suggest and really know the square footage test your lawn out measure your front lawn see you have a thousand square foot lawn Put, put in five pounds of fertilizer. See if it goes to four pounds, you know. And you gotta really know what you're trying to accomplish here. Like, nitrogen, it says right here on the bag, nitrogen per thousand square feet. So if I put it on the medium rate, it's about three quarters of a pound. If I put it on the high rate, it's about a pound of nitrogen. By the way, if you're putting a pound of nitrogen on your lawn in the spring, shame on you. That, uh, that lets me know everything I need to know about you. <laughs> if you're putting a pound of nitrogen, you don't need it absolutely 100 percent do not need a pound of nitrogen you need about three to four pounds of nitrogen per year to keep a healthy turf so if you're pounding 1.25 1.5 pounds of nitrogen every time you go out there it you're doing more harm harm to the lawn you're going to cause diseases you're going to it's going to require more and more fertilizer it's going to cause more and more thatch 
but that's that's whatever you guys want to do <laughs> i'm just telling you like i said from the get-go it's a problem i noticed the consistency of the bag does not match the application of the letters that they are giving you so this is something just because they put it now listen i can pull a bag out from last year it's the same label they're not going to fancy cut oh well this this fertilizer looks a little bit smaller than last year's we better cut up a whole new label no they're just printing these out to save their butt it's your job as an applicator to figure out what i'm doing wrong later